Do you ever look in the mirror and wonder, why do I look so um, blah? It's probably not you. It's more likely what you're wearing. More specifically, what color? Image consultant Linda Davis is here to help. Linda is with House of Color, a color analysis and personal style service right here in Kansas City. Welcome to the show. Thank you. And you look beautiful. You have lots of color that, that you know, that brightness, that kind of or, you know, make sure you look at your face. We love that. Well, thank you. Okay, so I understand color, you say, is the most underutilized tool in our closet. It really is. It's amazing the, the impact that color has, mm -hmm. for good or for bad. Okay. You know, when you're in the wrong colors, you can look drained, you can look tired, mm -hmm. it can make you look older, bring out wrinkles and lines. Some people actually make their clothing look cheap. Um, or other people will disappear. It's like the you know people notice the clothes, but they don't see the person, which isn't really what you want your clothes to do. No, you know, so, definitely not. Yeah, you know what? I, sometimes when I work with a client, we're looking to see what colors make them look good, and it doesn't mean they can't wear blue or they can't wear green. It's what version of a color. So, for example, I had a client recently that you know he had the standard, you know, his power color, mm -hmm. um, his navy suit, sharp white shirt. On him, he looked tired and haggard. Mm -hmm. He had, you know, like, you know how you can get that 5 o'clock shadow, but mm -hmm. much earlier? Mm -hmm. um, it didn't look good. It didn't look healthy. And you didn't really see him. Um, we switched him. Still navy and white, but his navy is a softer, mm -hmm. more muted. Um, we call it a French navy. And his white is a softer white, not a yellow white. That would age him. So he knew exactly what it was. And, you know, he said to me, there's no way. I don't know colors. I can't do this. Mm -hmm. But once he understood it, he was spot on with everything he chose. And it just made such a big impact. So how do you know what color is best for you to not make, not make you look wrinkly or drab or Well, you know, the first thing looking. is you need to take a look at it. Mm -hmm. You know, people focus on what colors go together. They think okay. about those pieces, you know, does this go, is pants go with the, the mm -hmm. shirt? Um, but first thing you want to ask yourself is, does it go with me? Is it doing something that's positive for me? And we always hear about, like, the trend. This, you know, last year was emerald, then you have a pink this year, a lot of black and white. Do you say pay attention to those trends or kind of adapt them to your own style and look? Definitely adapt them. You know, if a color is the hot color but it's not good on you, what's the mm -hmm. point in, in putting it in your closet? But a lot of times you can take a version of the color and, you, you, you know, when you know you're coloring, you know what to do with it. Does it have a lot to do with your eye color, your hair color? What it's would you all say? All your skin color and your mm -hmm. undertones, actually. Mm -hmm. So your skin, you have a, a, a fatty layer underneath, and that's what your undertones are. And that's what makes a color look good on you or make it not work for you. Now, can everyone wear black? I think that's kind of like, you know, the little black dress. Everyone wants to wear the little black dress. It's yeah, easy. It, it's very popular, especially here in the U.S. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are surprised to hear that black is not necessarily everyone's most slimming color. That's a big shock. Everyone has basics, everyone has neutrals, mm -hmm. but black on some people is not kind. Now, what about accessories? Should we look for, you know, that, that spark of color? So some people are going to look great in yellow golds. Others mm -hmm. are going to be better in white golds. Mm -hmm. There's a few colorings that will work well with a mix. Um, it's amazing when you get the eyeglasses in the mm -hmm. right color or metal. People that have said they hated glasses, when we really get it right, all of a sudden it becomes an accessory that they enjoy. So do you like colorful glasses? You know, I do love colorful glasses on the right person. That also has to do with your personality. So some people, that's not going to fit them. But if you want to add some color, a lot of glasses will have some color on the inside rim. Mm -hmm. And if it's in a great color for you, and then the metal or the basic color on the outside is good for you, then it'll still work. And what about makeup? I mean, you mentioned like how color can make us look like we're more tired and, and wrinkly. Of course, makeup can do that. Very, everything that you wear, you know, hair color, makeup, um, all of the accessories, it all goes together. So, but once you know your color and everything works with you and matches you, it really adds to you and makes you, gives you a healthy glow um, and gives you a more positive energy. You feel it and people can, people can tell the difference. I love that. All right, well, House of Color has several color analysis and personal style workshops coming up. You'll be able to find a link to that information and Linda's website on our Facebook page at, and at kclive.tv later on this afternoon. Linda, thank you so much for joining us. We thank appreciate you, for you stopping me. by.